Uh, I don't know how well you can hear me because we had to open up the hatch. For some reason, our high temp sensor went off. Never had that issue. That makes sense. First day out for the big sale, for the big trip. Um, so we were able to get it to go off. Uh, we cut it for a minute and then we put it back on at idle and I think the oil is helping cool it down. So we're going to hobble to where we're going to go and then we're going to look into it uh, further. But it seems to have brought the temperature down. I think we're operating at normal speeds now, so we're uh, normal specs. Not excited about it though. This is the boat life. We bought our very first sailboat just over a year ago. Now we're full time living boards, making our way to the Caribbean. We have learned a lot, but have so much more to learn. Because basically we started with no sailing skills and very little boating experience. Did I mention this is our first boat? Subscribe now so you don't miss out on our adventures. I, I guarantee you'll be entertained. I can tell you that much for sure. Leave a comment below, tell us what you think about our videos. That's the boat life. Thanks for watching. We got the bridge thing down. They're a lot easier when they're on demand. Oh my gosh, so much easier. Thank you very much, appreciate that. Thanks for the opening. This could be it. I uh, I was reading through this and it says cooling water temperature high and it says air sucked into the cooling water. So check water pump inlet side pipe connections. And then cooling water flow insufficient. Obviously check the pump, but we know the pump is new. Cooling system dirty, which could be. Uh, flush the cooling system with cleaner and then thermostat faulty which is replace thermostat so I don't think the thermostat well maybe the thermostat's bad but um, but then I remember we were having issues with that seacock so I checked it and you can see it here I'll show you well appreciate it Tom thanks for uh, thanks for the advice all right, talk to you later, Mike. Great news. He said we can tighten that up, and it should be fine. And that's it. To the Z-Cock we go. All right. What's that? Monster fish. <laughs> Gosh, they're almost falling in. Oh. Is that Goliath? Oh my gosh, he's getting it. Holy cow. Okay, I got it I got it. It's a 
a lot. Yeah. <laughs> he's big. Yeah, he's close. You know, I used to dive them up with them. They were throwing anything up with them. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, you got it done overnight. Guinea pig. Wow. 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 Okay. We also have to sort out a lot of things. Yeah, I'm taking that. Something does smell weird here. Fishy. Okay, so we just got back from the store. Let me tell you, it's been a day. Well, it's been a few days. Yeah, also, we don't have any footage of that. Because we lost the camera. <laughs> but, but we found it! <laughs> but we went to the store in the meantime in Uber. Oh, here, and, hold this. Uh, so we need to flush the engine, or the heat exchanger, if you will, um, with some barnacle plastic. <laughs> so I got this. I'm ready to do it. I got hose clamps. Uh, you're not but ready to do it. What do we need? Barnacle Buster. Yeah. And guess who was at a Barnacle Buster? The store we went to for Barnacle Buster. Course. Sold out yesterday. But things get better. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy at the store is gonna go buy us one from another store and then bring it back so we can get there tomorrow and get it from him. Which is pretty awesome. So, Thank thanks, you, Ross. Ross. <laughs> Oops. Appreciate you. Uh, Make sure to subscribe, see all the shenanigans, because I have a feeling there's gonna be a bunch of them. Not even intentional. <laughs> No, they're just going to happen. Unintentional okay? shenanigans. Yeah, we have planned shenanigans. You'll see those. And then we have things that are just happening. Engines overheating. The marine store not having things that you need. Uh, mechanics not being available for weeks. Weeks. Not days. Not hours. Weeks. Called them up. They're like, yeah, sure, we can fit you in in four weeks. Four weeks. We want to be in the hospital before then.